Good evening, YouTube Pipe community. New Jersey Piper here. Uh, trying out some new things tonight. Lots of new things. I have my uh, have my new uh, tumbled brass Zippo armor lighter. She's working good. I have a bowl of Cornell and Deals Oak Alley, which I uh, purchased a couple of tins of that recently at the Cornell and Deal sale. I have my uh, my 7LE owned a pipe out for its uh, inaugural smoke. <clears throat> Fresh cold beverage. Tonight it's uh, diet cran pomegranate and plain unflavored seltzer. And I find kind of half a cup of the uh, juice with half a cup of the seltzer. It's a pretty good mixture from a sweetness standpoint because the juice tends to be very sweet. And the, uh, the seltzer cuts down on that. Hadn't looked at this pipe again since I since I did the unboxing. It's it's really pretty. I know I said the same thing before, but I really enjoy uh, enjoy the finish on this pipe, and it's a nice sturdy shape. And the Oak Alley is Red Virginia's White Brown Burleys with a touch of uh, Katerini and Preek. It does have a nice flavor. Um, it's, it's mild um, and pleasant, slightly sweet. Not not topped at all. There's no uh, there's no added flavoring, um, and I can kind of see, you know, it's it's definitely good right now. But but noting the uh, the ten saying you know peak peak sort of uh, maturity at ten to fifteen years from a I guess from a flavor profile standpoint, I can I can see that I can see these these flavors sort of melding together and and maturing and sort of you know, proofing over time uh, to something pretty, pretty remarkable. This is this is pretty, pretty fantastic. Right out of the tin, I just opened it. It was a pretty good moisture level coming out. It wasn't, it wasn't overtly moist or overtly dry. It was kind of that uh, sort of Goldilocks uh, level, I guess. yeah it's good I like this pipe a lot too <laughs> I think this pipe's going to be in pretty regular rotation <clears throat> so the uh it was it was a nice day. It was very sunny today. Little clouds, um, highs in the 50s, but um, and grass just won't stop growing. <laughs> we've come close to a frost a couple of nights, but I don't think we've had a true frost yet. I 
Yeah, my neighbor got out and cut his grass today and I thought, you know what, it's probably a pretty good idea. Um, I think there's going to be a, a, a system moving up the east coast uh, at the end of next week that, that might spell some pretty nasty weather. Uh, I got a friend in the mountains that's saying they might actually get some snow. In Virginia. So if it snows in Virginia, it'll snow here for sure. So yeah, I'm going to cut the grass, even though I already put it up for the winter because I didn't think the grass was going to keep growing, but the weather got stupid, it got warmer, it got humid, so yeah, the grass kept growing. Um, but yeah, I got the lawnmower out, no big deal. And, uh, and then all of a sudden I'm looking in the backyard, and I'm thinking I should get rid of those rid of some of this brush some of these sort of overgrown bushes and things like that sorry about that the uh, neighborhood came to life all of a sudden <laughs> the barking dogs and passers-by um, but yeah so just started noticing sort of the fence line kind of overgrown with bushes, trees, vines, blah, blah, blah. It's always a pain in the butt when you're cutting the grass because you're going to hit in the head with sticks and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to clear some of this out. <laughs> and then it was, it just became one of those tasks where one thing led to another and I just couldn't stop. And before it was all said and done, I had a pile of branches and sticks and vines taller than myself. So... Uh, yeah, that was fun, but I'm really sore right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with that mess. I don't know if I want to just like throw it on the town Facebook page, be like, hey, who wants to... I wants to make a hundred bucks real quick. <laughs> Come get rid of these sticks in my yard. Because <laughs> I don't have like a trailer or anything to haul them off. And um, if I dispose of them myself, I have to cut them into like three foot sections and put them in lawn bags. And that would take a long time. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, relative to a task like that how much is my time worth do i really want to spend three hours doing that or however long it would be so yeah i don't know whether laziness will prevail or if i'll just get her done one day oh i feel gross for saying get her done Ugh, sorry <laughs> every once in a while my uh southern roots come through <laughs> This pipe is smoking really good right out of the box. That's uh, that's what Savinelli's are known for. So yeah, just to quickly recap, if you want a sort of straightforward tobacco blend, where the uh, the tobaccos are and high quality tobaccos, I might add, are allowed to sort of shine through. Um, you know, again, no, no toppings or flavorings here, but, you know, just a good quality product. Uh, I, it came in cake form. I broke it up quite a bit with my, my new knife, so I got to use my new knife too. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just, uh, sort of processing through it and, and breaking it up to pack the bowl. I had pretty much the surface of a big paper plate covered and found two tiny little stems, so pretty, pretty high quality, uh, processing there too to give us the uh, the good stuff so I've, I've had pretty bad experiences getting getting stems and uh, and some stuff before and this was pretty this was a pretty clean mix so i was happy with that
be yeah, definitely interested interested to see what's going to happen to this uh, this blend in ten years or whatever it is. See if I can keep it for that long. I've already got it in pretty big mason jar, so I'm prepared to do so. We'll just see how long uh, my patience can last on that, but it should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go for now. Have a great night, YTPC.